Hi, it's Debbie here with the video tutorial on showing you how to use the heart embroidery file. And actually, this kind of art is called Spirilla. And some of you may remember the Spirograph, a toy when it was out, and you would put your pins and it would go around. It would make these beautiful little designs. Well, this... Um, this heart was inspired by my friend Helen over at Pinky Paper Crafts and once I saw her heart I decided oh boy I would love to make a cutting file instead of having to sit there and punch little holes so I tried it and it worked out pretty well um, here's a picture of how mine turned out so you see how all of the lines in hers is just absolutely gorgeous so if you have some questions about it to see how to get one exactly like hers pop over to her blog and and leave her a post and ask a question about it and she'll be happy to answer it i'm sure okay we're going to go back to this so i can show you how to use that um, um how to thread it okay say you start right here in the second hole or you can even start in the first. Let's start in the first. And I usually try to angle it about halfway down the middle. And it depends on how you do this, on how yours will turn out. So you start here, and then you go through that top hole, under the back side at the top here, where I start out, then, <clears throat> then down, then under where I just clicked on the second one. And then this one's going to go in through the top and then you're going to go down to this little one and you're going to go down to the top back under again and back through the hole and I'm going to undo that because I didn't click all the way but as you can see we're already starting to come up with a design And I'm just going to do half of this just to kind of give you an idea of how to get started with using your thread. And of course, if you want to, you can always build this just to make your own um, sketch design. So I'll get through half of this, and then when I'm done, I'll show you how I made the to cover these little holes. So I'm sure you're getting the idea of how to do your spirilla art. And like I said, it depends on where you're starting is how your pattern will look. And remember too that some of these holes you'll have to go back through twice to get a good design. That's pretty important to remember because when I first did this, I thought, where am I going to go now? And I just realized I just had to go back through a couple of these holes a couple of times. And as you go along with your thread, you'll see little by little a pattern coming up and what I did I have a dog in the background sneezing <laughs> okay what I did is I also when I had to cut it off I taped the um, back pieces because I had to re-thread my needle I didn't have enough thread to make it all the way through this and it would have been too much thread to handle so I did part of it and then I would knot it and, and, and tape it off in the towards the back or use some um, Aline's Turbo Tacky Glue. We'll also lay it real nice and flat. And keep it adhered to the back side of your cardstock. I just love that Aline's Turbo Tacky Glue. It dries really fast and it's super strong. I guess I just gave a little commercial for Aline's Turbo Tacky Glue. <laughs> but it is a wonderful product. Okay, so I'm almost at the end here, and as you can see, I still have some holes left, so I'm going to have to go, oops, let's undo that. So what I'm going to have to do is go back through some of these holes here, which when you're using your thread, they won't be on the outside, they'll be exactly back in the holes, but just doing this demonstration, and I'm just going to do this real quick and not make it all fancy and everything so I can get to the other part of this but I didn't want everybody to get into doing this and then not have their 
you know, not know what they're doing or if it's their first time trying it too. And I want to make the, using this file a little bit easier by a little instruction. So you get the idea of how your, your um, embroidered heart will look. And I can go ahead and um, let's replicate this and we're going to um, mirror it left. So you can get an idea. There we go. Okay, then this is the part that will cover these little holes. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this with the pattern so you can see. So let's just go to pattern and find something pretty. It doesn't really matter. There. And we'll bring it to the front. So there you go. That's how you're going to use your thread to make your spirilla heart. And then you're going to cut out this piece here to cover up all these little holes and glue it on the front. The back side of this, you will have little pieces of string. You can either glue them down or you can use some tape. Um, glue probably would be best to use because you're for sure it's going to stay nice and sturdy. Just make sure if you continue to work with your file that you um, let that dr glue dry completely. Okay, I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you enjoy this um, heart and border file a lot more. You can grab it over at my blog at www dot paperpulse dot blogspot dot com. Have a great day everyone. Bye now.